Hey guys, this is Jesse Ables with Renaros Valley. Uh, today we're going to go over the installation of our Gen 2 load lifter panel. Uh, to start, you want to make sure your nice frame is laid out, just like it is here. Uh, you want the two outer rear compression straps uh, to be unbuckled. And so to install it, we're going to lay it on top of the frame like so. You want to route the LLP center attachment strap under the nice frame center horizontal stay, like so. We then want to put these two ladder lock buckles under the horizontal stay and then push it down. Now we're going to want to route all three straps through their accompanying ladder lock buckle. Just do this loosely at this point. And now we want whatever height you want it set at. You want to go ahead and position it at that height. It should be about, we recommend two inches above uh, where the top of the yoke is if it's adjusted properly. Um, some people are going to want to adjust it higher, but the higher it is adjusted, uh, the less stable it's going to be when it's loaded up. So we recommend right around two inches. And so let's say right here is a good height. I'm going to want to snug down this center attachment strap, not too tight. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the outermost attachment straps, what we refer to as the lower attachment straps. Snug them tight and then do the same with the center one until they're tight. They should be tight, but you don't have to uh, you don't have to cinch them, you know, excessively tight. That was not very descriptive, but you probably get what I'm saying. Uh, we recommend these straps at this point then be routed back through the rearmost bar and the ladder lock, uh, just to make sure they stay tight. If you're going to be adjusting this a lot, or if you uh, don't feel like spending the extra time, you can get away with not adjust, uh, not routing them through the rearmost bar. But this is going to help make sure everything stays tight, especially if it, uh, if it gets wet or anything like that. At this point, we want to take the horizontal attachment strap and route it around the frame. It's then going to go through the loose one inch webbing that's on the left side, and then it's going to route through the ladder lock. Now at this point, what I recommend doing is grabbing the frame on the left side, like so, and then pulling this back and then cinching it forward. I usually do this three or four times to make sure it's tight. It should bow in the sides of the nice frame slightly. By sides, I mean the two outer stays here. Uh, but again, it doesn't have to be you know as tight as it could possibly go. And then at this point, we're going to do the same thing we did with the other attachment straps, I'll route it through the rearmost bar. And now at this point, we just want to attach the yoke slow lifter buckles to the female buckles at the top of the LLP. And that's going to be that. Uh, if you want it, if you want to adjust it, uh, again, it's going to be easier. If you don't double all these back. Uh, but the process would be first to loosen the uh, horizontal attachment strap. And then, depending on whether you want it higher or lower, you're going to loosen the center attachment strap and then the two lower ones. And if you want to move it down, then you're going to want to loosen the lower attachment straps first. If you're going to move it up, you can move. Uh, you can loosen the center attachment shut first. But wherever you want it. Uh, if you are going to adjust it um, below the nice frames to uh, upper compression strap buckles, uh, you may have to unfasten this, the horizontal attachment strap, or you know just be mindful of it, loosen up quite a bit, and then route the buckles. 
under it like so. And then, you know, adjust it down and tighten everything up. You're good to go. Okay, we're now going to cover installation of the buckle adapter. Uh, this is primarily meant for uh, any users that are running a crew cab or a load sling or the Metcalf when you have the load shelf uh, engaged, so to speak. Uh, installation of this is pretty simple. It's going to slide uh, under the nice frame's upper horizontal stay. There's going to be a slot about two inches wide right in the center. And you're going to want to slide the metal ring down uh, with the uh, rear part of the um, buckle adapter facing you. You'll know it's the rear part because the buckles will have the, uh, the text on the back. You're going to pull it down here. Now the key to installing this is to ensure that whatever side of the ring or the metal loop that the buckle is passing through, uh, the webbing that's attached to it, attached to the loop, should be on the opposite side. So in this case, I'm going to install the left buckle first. So I'm going to want the webbing on the right side, like so. And we're going to pass the buckle through. Pull it up a bit. Now, same deal. The webbing gets shifted to the other side. We're going to push the side of the buckle through. And just pull it. Now I like to just pull it up like so. And that's it. Uh, when these aren't in use, they are going to hang down. It's going to look possibly like the ring's going to pop off, but because of uh, how tight they're in here, this isn't something that's going to accidentally fall off. So that's it.